guys, Yoku here from Hogyoku Cosplay. Um, I'm going ahead and I'm making my Patreon introduction video because I haven't had one yet and so we're going through the new page updates. So I'm really bad at making video, <laughs> so bear with me, this might be kind of rough. Um, but this is also a really good intro for me as I'm going to start recording and releasing my workshops. So a little bit about me, um, I am... A college student. I'm finishing up my degree in psychology. I have minors in art and writing. I'll be graduating in June. I am a self-taught cosplayer and everything that I know has been from my friends, online tutorials, YouTube videos, and convention presentations. I'm currently 25 years old. Um, I'm a gamer. I play a lot of League of Legends. Um, yeah, and I love going to cons. Um, I'm here doing the Patron because I currently work two jobs outside of school and I've been making it work for a while now but costumes become more expensive, um, there are more conventions I want to attend, there's more content I want to put out and there's different types of materials like Warbla that I really love to use um, but it's just really not in my budget right now. So this Patron gives me a chance to do all those things I just mentioned it gets me, um, it allows me to expand my horizons, so how many cosplays I make, how many conventions I can attend, how far away I can travel for conventions. And I also run um, my college's anime club at Portland State called Cosplay and Crafts. And we've been doing that weekly and it's been really successful. And so I've had a lot of people reach out to me and be like, hey, you know, I see these PowerPoints you post online, but I'd really love to actually get that content, um, but I don't live anywhere near Portland. And so the Patron allows me to take more of my time and actually put out those workshops, um, which I've started running at a couple conventions as well. <clears throat> so how you guys can help, um, my Patron set up as a monthly donation system. You can donate as little as $1 a month to support me and kind of get some inside views, early access of photos, and see what goes up on behind my cosplay scenes. The tiers go up with the different rewards, as do my milestones. But I want to make it super duper duper clear that every single penny goes towards cosplay and it goes towards giving back to the community and it goes towards new content that I do. I'm super active on social media. I'm on almost 24 seven, you know, minus when I'm working um, and when I'm asleep. Some people forget that, you know, cosplayers sleep too. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of the basic gist of it and why I'm here. So let's talk a little bit about the Patreon levels. Um, at $1, you get access to my activity feed. Um, you're able to comment and like on everything. You see things first like announcements. Um, I announced I was going to be on Call to Cosplay uh, to my Patrons first. You also get opinions um, for voting on my business cards. Uh, people were able to put their input on my last print set as well as voting on my next cosplay. I'm going to be asking some opinions coming up here for summer ones. You also get um, early access for viewing high-res photos that I get before I post them on social media. The $5 level, you get everything from the $1 level. You also get access to my private Snapchat, which I don't often post. Um, they're like whips in progress, but they're not whips enough for Instagram or Facebook. And um, you also get access to my monthly workshops, which last typically um, three to four hours. I do about 30 minutes of lecture with an accompanying PowerPoint, and that's a dual screen setup. Then we have about 30 minutes of Q&A and open discussion, and the rest of the time is spent doing workshop and helping out and people that are actively working. So the last part of it kind of ends up into like more of like a Google Hangout style thing. At the $10 level, you get everything from the one and five, plus you get an additional weekly Google Hangout crafting session with me and my friends that last several hours. It includes people from all over the Pacific Northwest community, it includes gamers, cosplayers, photographers, tons and tons of great people. Um, you can check out other people's progress, you can check in on my progress, you can ask questions, um, talk with people, and hang out. We're always working on something. At the $20 level, you get everything from one, five, and 10, Plus, you also get to help decide what cons I'm going to attend. Um, like, coming up is Fanime. There's also Anime Expo, um, Anime Oasis packs, you know, all of those. I'm not going to be able to afford all of those, but you would help 
to be able to input an opinion on which ones you think I should go to. Um, you also get to input what cosplays I take to those. So if there's a cosplay I made that you've always wanted to see in person and you're able to say, go to Anime Oasis, you could say, hey, I really want you to bring this cosplay. And I'd be like, yeah, totally cool. Um, and then you also get to put input on who I shoot with. So if you have a favorite photographer that I've shot with, um, some of my photos, you can say, hey, I want you to shoot with this person coming up. And that will be part of my early access release photos when I am able to shoot with them. You get access to digital prints um, from new shoots. So more than just the early access, you'll get a couple high res, probably like three of them. Um, I haven't cleared out this one yet so there's going to be a lot of kind of discussion and it could be previews or it could be the whole set at the $30 level you get the 1 5 10 and 20 plus you also get to play video games with me at least once a week on any of the games I play um, my major one right now is League of Legends um, but I've also played Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, um, Battlefield 4, any of those games and you also get a signed print each month for me as an additional thank you and a high res 8 by 10 at the $50 level, if we get $50 levels, those are limited, guys. Um, it's 1, 5, 10, 20, and 30 levels. Plus, you get to spend time with me and my friends at Con. This could be going, um, if we were in Seattle, to the gaming arcade, having a beer together, you know, playing some DDR. I'm really, really competitive DDR. I'll even do it in cosplay. Um, it could be going to Cheesecake Factory, having an appetizer. It could be going to, like, sushi any of those sorts of things. Um, you also get to go behind the scenes of a photo shoot and help out and you get to, yeah, do those sorts of things. Just be really cool and actually hang out with us um, in person. Plus you get everything else that I mentioned, prints, um, early access, Google Hangouts. So you get like a really in-depth view of um, me and my cosplay life and this cosplay community. So I have a lot of milestones. Um, milestones are really, really far proposed goals, um, but I'm going to go over a couple of them really quickly because that's some of the reasons you guys are here. So my first one is a $50 level. Um, it basically means that I get to start bringing in some of this more expensive products and equipment I talked about, things like Warbler. Um, I can actually take the time and invest in some LED type things using nicer fabrics like more silk brocades. And I could also start doing more custom printing of designs. Um, I'm looking at like Captain Misfortune and those tights are super weird and so I'd probably custom print and order them, but that's a little more expensive than painting, but it comes out cleaner. Um, this level also helps me expand my makeup collection, um, the contacts I have, and my wigs and quality-wise. At a $75 level, I will be making monthly prints. Um, they're sent out individually signed to all $10 contributors and higher. These will be voted on by everybody at the $10 and higher. And each one will come with a little thank you note from me saying, Thanks guys! I'm so happy that we've made it to this level and it means a lot to me. At $100 a month, I will also include makeup tutorials. They will be in addition to regular photos and tutorials and everything else I put out. Um, I'm also going to offer makeup tutorials for each look I do. So if you want to look like Candy Cane Misfortune slash Jessica Rabbit, I'd put out a tutorial for that. If you wanted to look more like my Maury Sailor Mercury look I did for a fashion show, I'd put out a look for that. So different things to kind of get you into character and I'd start experimenting with a lot of higher techniques. Um, I don't know if those are going to be in videos or, or photos, that's, those videos are really awkward. <laughs> uh, the $150 a month, I'd start doing a new photo shoot every month. Um, the photo shoots are expensive, um, not only for me to make stuff, they're expensive for photographers, we have to travel, um, and so it's hard to do them outside of conventions, but I'd really love to do more of them and release more content. And so $20 and higher donations um, would be able to vote on what cosplays I'm shooting and the people I'm shooting with. At $200 a month, once a month I'll do work days, they would be 12 to 15 hour streams consistently where I'm literally just streaming and working on cosplay all day. You guys can jump in and out, I'll have guests, I'll have friends, I might have people over with me. Probably also gonna eat some ramen during the day because it's a long, long time to work on cosplay. At 250, we I will do a new cosplay every month. 
That seems really extreme, <laughs> but I think it's totally doable at a $250 level. And then the $20 in higher donators will be able to vote on what cosplay I'm making for this. At the $300 a month level, I'll open a print store. So the $20 and higher donators, donators will be able to vote on what prints go into the store and at what time they'll be rotating constantly so I won't ever have the same prints in at like back to back sort of thing um, from the same pho photographers or same cosplays or same photo sets. And um, so that will be really cool because then everybody will have access to prints. At $350 a month, um, I can start doing some of those bigger projects. Um, I released a cosplay calendar for one person um, as a giveaway earlier this year. And so at 350 I could do a yearly cosplay calendar. Um, I could also start making some custom made cosplay items. And $20 and higher donators will be able to vote on this. Um, custom made items would include like Poro plushies. Um, I've made like mushroom plushies. Um, behind me you can see I make custom paper lanterns that are character based in design. Things like that that are kind of fun and they're not like super serial. At $400 a month, I will buy like one of those old Polaroid cameras for Snapchatting and I'll take random photos of me at cons with friends behind the scenes doing shoots. Um, they're going to be single, there's going to be one of a kind, none of her like them. They'll be exclusive and they'll only go out to my 15 donators on hire. $500 a month, I'll be hiring a photographer to go behind the scenes and do video shoots of me while I make my cosplays, um, while I'm getting ready for cons and putting them on, and while I'm actually shooting. So that'd be super cool, super fun. Um, I've seen tons of great videos like that, but I've never had um, the time or the ability to make them myself, and so at the $500 level, I could actually hire someone and pay them, and they could go out and do that. And then we could have some cool behind the scenes stuff. That would be really fancy high quality that I can't do. <laughs> At the $750 a month, um, I will release an After Dark style set. I recently released um, some Candy Cane Misfortune photos that were kind of like After Dark themed, but what you guys saw was the extent of it. Um, a true After Dark theme would include a more Bodor, um, probably I'd make I've been eyeing several bra and panty type sets, and I would release them exclusively um, to people at the $20 and higher level, and they might even go into my print store at some point. Um, it's going to be discussed really extensively ahead of time with those $20 and up donators. Um, you'll get a say on the character, a lot of like the details, um, the photographers, the videographer, the con. It'd be very intense discussion at that level. If if I ever made it to a thousand dollars a month, which is crazy, basically I could, I could almost make cosplay a full time job. Um, I'd be adding a bunch of new cons to my schedule, um, especially drivable train locations to attend. Um, Twenty dollar and higher donators would be able to vote on which ones I attended. Maybe I could go to like Senshi Con in Alaska or the Hawaii cons. Um, I could start hitting some of those East Coast cons. Um, you know, just really far ones that are. Definitely way out of my budget for hotel, airfare, travel, food, those sorts of things. And the top, the top tier, if we ever made it, it's $2,500 uh, $2, a month. And I'd be adding a bunch of non-local cons. So those are especially those East Coast ones, um, Southern ones, Canadian, maybe an international one, maybe Germany. Um, the possibilities will be discussed if it ever gets that high because that's like super crazy. So thanks for stopping by guys. I hope this gives you um, a good intro of me and the types of things I'm here to offer and that you can help me with. And I really hope you guys are excited about this. Um, so far my Patron journey has been really fun. It's been super interesting. I have had lots of great conversations with people, early access releases, Google Hangouts, and workshops. And I can't wait to release more. So thanks for stopping by and have a good day.